Hey guys, it's Crazy Coupons. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you which coupons I got today, which is June the 28th, and also how I organize my coupons. So stay tuned for that. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and let me know that this video was helpful. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and go check me out over on Instagram. It's at Crazy Coupons. Now let's jump right in. Okay guys, it is June the 28th. We're gonna go through which coupons I got and a couple of ads. And later on, I'm gonna show you how I organize my coupons. So let's jump right in and see what we have. So we got a Retail Me Not and a Smart Source. Just wanted to go through these ads really quick. If you guys wanted to need to pause this at any time, feel free to do that. But just so you guys can get a glimpse of what's going on. There's Family Dollar and Dollar General. Boom. I've been kind of slowly putting some deals together for Walgreens. And making my way through the Dollar General coupons, so those videos will be up soon. I already have a few breakdowns together for Walgreens, so I'll stay tuned for that. And last page. Alrighty. So we'll go ahead and jump into this retail me not. First off, we have some degree. Um, deodorants, 50 cent off of one degree men's, one dollar off of any one degree men's, 75 cents off of degree women's, and 125 off of one degree women's deodorant or wipes, all of those things. And we have some Chris body wash, one dollar off, or the beauty bars, the six pack or larger. 75 cents off of one Suave Body Wash. The, these would have been great to have last week when we had some, um, I bought a rebates for some Suave. So 50 cents off of one Suave deodorant product. And the lotion, $1 off. Here's some food items. Here's $1 off of Hellman's Mayonnaise. We usually have an I bought a rebate, so check your accounts for that at Walmart. And Maylee, this is like uh, mustard and things like that. One dollar off. And some gummies, supplements, five dollars off and two dollars off. The Tenna products, five dollars off of two. It's just an ad. This is a really good coupon to have. Um, it expires on 7 Eleven. Uh, buy one secret or Old Spice dry spray uh, deodorant and get one free. So, I believe there's a deal going on at Walgreens for that, so that'll be a good one to have. There it is. Buy one, get one 50% off. <clears throat> and also on the deodorants, they're two for ten. And we have four dollars off of two coupon, but we also have um, some other digital coupons. So, like I said, stay tuned for that video. Four dollars off of one Gillette razors and the Venus. Seven dollars off of Ambrian. I think that's how you say it, Amber in. And here's some more um, Walgreens ads. Um, they gave us a ton of Crest and Oral B uh, coupons, but there's no deal for them. You don't get any points back or anything. Um, as of now, that we know of, they're buy two, get the third for free. So still, it's okay, but um, when you get your points and your register rewards back, is when you really get a good deal. So uh, they move the tan packs and the always. Pampers, Olay, Pantene, Head and Shoulders, Olay, Venus, and those King C uh, razors and things like that are still on that promotion. And on the back we have $2 off of any one Always Discreet product and $2 off of the Ivory, $2 off of two Ivory body wash or deodorant. And there's always Walmart, um, I bought a rebates for these products, so check your accounts on Ibotta. If you don't have that already set up, I have a video 
um, that I did a while back. Um, it kind of walks you through step by step, so go check that out. And my referral code will be listed down in the description as always. So now we just have some Dollar General ad, 50 cent off of one Clorox mopping cloths, $5 off of two Depend products, $3 off of one Depend product, $5 off of two uh, for the Poise and $3 off of one. And we have some Airwick, $3 off of the starter kit and one dollar off of the uh, refill. Finish dishwasher cleaner, one dollar off, and the jet dry rinse aid, one dollar off. And three dollars off of two you buy Kotex pads or liners, three dollars off of two you buy Kotex tampons. The Alka Seltzer, two dollars off of one, and one dollar off of one. And we have some blue diamond, one, $1.50 off. And there's um, always deals and sales going on at Walgreens for those. $4 off of the pain relief product. We have the Insure, $5 off of any two multi-packs. $10 off of any two original or Insure plus 16 count packs. The veggie straws, one dollar off, and one dollar off of two of the smaller bags. Duracell, two dollars off, fifty cents off of two red gold products, and just gonna add oops, Sargento, seventy-five cents off of two of the cheese slices. And there's another Walgreens deal, so 99 cents. Then Nabisco cookies or crackers, 75 cents off of two. And the Colgate toothpaste, toothbrushes, and mouthwash, 50 cents off of one. The Hormel chicken or Valley Fresh products, one dollars off of one dollar off of two. Carousel, five dollars off and three dollars off. The Ajax, 50 cents off. That's a deal at Walgreens this week too. We have digital coupons as well for that. Clear Eyes, 50 cents off. And we have the Suave Shampoo and Conditioner, two dollars off of two and one dollar off of one. Those are three dollars a piece at Dollar General. We had those great I bought a rebates last week, but they're expired, so wah, wah. oh well, maybe they'll come back. And we have $2 off of two Tresemme shampoo or conditioner products. Doesn't look like there's any size restriction other than trial or travel size, so um, there may still be an instant savings at Dollar General. We'll have to still check on that. $2 on any two Dove hair care products. Uh, $1 off of any one Dove Amplified Texture hair care product. $150 off of any one Suave Men hair care product. The two-in-one shampoo and conditioner is $3 at the Dollar General. So, $2 off of any two Suave Kids hair products. And that's it for the Smart Source. So, that's it for the coupons. Now, I'm going to... Jump on over and I'm going to show you guys how I organize my coupons. I kind of had to improvise and come up with this myself. But I want to let you guys know so that you don't have to worry about having a big huge binder and all of that. All of that stuff. So we'll jump on into the next clip. Okay guys, so now I'm going to share with you how I organize my coupons. This is my couponing tote. Um, it's very light. There's, it's no heavier than just carrying your purse into the store. And I have all of my inserts in here, every single one from, I think it goes back to six or seven weeks ago. And I'm going to show you how I put this together. Now, I know that a lot of people uh, like to clip all of their coupons out and put them in the binders and the baseball card holders and all of those good things. Um, however, that's just not for me. I 
do not have the time to go through and clip coupons every week. So this is what I've found works best for me. So first thing that you're going to need is one of these bags. You can pick them up at the Dollar Tree. They have different, um, you know, different designs and things, but they're just a dollar. I usually pick up two whenever I go. That way I have a backup in case one of the straps break or anything like that. Now these do hold up pretty well. I've had this one for over a month now and it's held up so. Um, but just in case it does, I've got a backup. And next thing that you're going to need is some folders. So I tried the file folders. They're a little bit more flimsy, but they do work. Um, but I just, I have picked up these folders. I've picked them up for a penny at Dollar General when they pennied out. I've picked them up at clearance events. Um, Walmart when they're uh, after school sale, you know, uh, stuff like that. So just keep an eye out for these folders. They're not fancy. They don't have the tabs and nothing like that. They're just there to hold things in place. So what I do with this is I take each week's worth of inserts and I put them in. <laughs> I put them in upside down. Because when you're pulling them in and out, they won't get stuck on these folder pockets. So, each week's um, inserts, this is from 621, and it's a smart source and the Retail Me Not. And I just stick a sticky note in the middle to separate the two, and I throw them in there, fold it up, and slide it in there. And it fits perfect. So that's what works for me. And then when I'm in the store, I can, if I see something that's on clearance or something that's on sale that I didn't realize was, I can look it up on coupontom.com, like the cover girl, for instance, and it'll tell me which insert um, it was in. And let's just say it was in uh, six, seven. And I can, I can just flip through here, find the insert, pull it out, clip the coupon, and stick it right back in there. So, there is how I organize all of my coupons and take them into the store with me. But, a couple of more things that I put in there are, I, have, I keep a little pouch. I found this for, um, when they pennied out a Dollar General, I picked up a few of these. So, I keep sticky notes in there, some scissors and a pen <clears throat> and this is also where I put any clipped coupons that I think I'm going to be using for the next you know uh, shopping trip or the next week I'll just throw them all in here that way they're all ready to go and I'll just slide that right in there and everything's kind of consolidated and, and where it's supposed to be I also put in one of these um, notebooks. Now this is where I keep all of my breakdowns for each store. And um, you can find these at the Dollar General. Um, they're just a dollar or two and they're the perfect size to slide right in there. And um, like I said, this isn't very heavy or anything like that. So I keep, um, another thing that I wanted to mention is I keep all of the Retail Me Not and Smart Sources in these little folders. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. And then I slide the PNG folder, the PNG insert in the back. So I always know that that's in the back. It doesn't need a folder of its own. I don't need to add more weight to this. Um, so I just slide those in the back. And then for any printable coupons, I keep a couple of envelopes back here, um, just depending on what we have, like um, pet coupons, and I, I label them that way. So. Any internet printables go in the back with the PNG. That way I know all of that's back there. And I just slide my notebook over front. I can put my wallet up here and it's no issue you know, whatsoever. I'm good to go. So there you go. I don't have to carry around a big binder. I don't have to worry about clipping um, a whole bunch of coupons or anything like that. So this is what works for me. But if you guys have any tips or tricks that you want to share, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And, um, you know, any information is always helpful. So, that's it for me for now. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up if you thought this was helpful. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.